or yeah. So we're back, and this is our first one for the new year. That's right. I know. So this is Watch Me Work. We're back. If you wonder where we were, where were we? We were somewhere. We were we were doing things, and I'm sure everybody else was because that's what January is all about. Right, the GSD month. Yeah, shit that month. <laughs> um, so February, we can enjoy Black History Month. <laughs> We're going to be black all month long. And if anybody says, like, maybe you don't want to be, we're like, yeah, no, we're going to be, you know, we're going, we're going there this month. <laughs> like we've never gone there before. Sorry, but what does this have to do with getting your work done as well? Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> So watch me work for those. Does anybody not know what watch me work is? Or yeah, if I can, can I, if I, everybody knows. Okay, everybody knows. We all know what watch me work is. What we're going to do, it, it's about getting your work done, basically. And what we're going to do, how we do that, is we we have a a we do a, a, a performance, uh, which is uh, we do the action and then we do the dialogue. And first, we, what we do is we write together. Writing, if writing is your thing, or you can do your choreography. Over there. Um, <laughs> now you guys look! <laughs> yeah, there's a dancer warming up. She's getting ready um, to do, uh, but we, we're going to do our work for 20 minutes together, and then we're going to do that, that's the action, and then we'll do the dialogue together, which is that you guys, y'all, people, and, and those folks uh, on live stream can ask me questions about your creative process, and that's very important. So. Uh, because watch me work, the me and the title is you. We will spend 20 minutes working, and then we will spend 20 minutes in dialogue about our creative process with the goal to help you get some work done. Uh, so, Audrey, help us for those people who need to know. Sure. All right, Josh. <laughs> so, if you are watching online, how you can write in to ask questions is you can, there's a, actually a bunch of ways now. If you're watching at HowlRound.tv, there's actually a chat feature. I'll be monitoring that. Yeah. Chat feature. Um, there's a, a tw our, our Twitter handle is at WatchMeWorkSLB, and you hashtag it HowlRound, H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D, and you actually can now write into the Public Theater's Instagram account or Facebook account, no. and we are no, monitoring that as well. That. Yeah. yeah. So, Tons of ways. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll, we'll begin. So we'll begin. Um, for anybody wondering how long we've been doing this, it, it's like a long time at this point. 2008, right? 2009. 2009. So it's 10 years. We're 10 years old. Oh. <laughs> That's so exciting. We're uh, yeah. We're, we're trying to grow longer than. Okay. <laughs> Hamilton cats. What if we did Hamilton Lion with cats? Lion King, that's what I was trying to do. Which is Hamilton with cats, actually. <laughs> well, all right, we got it back. Right? Think about it. Uh, the ruler and the thing and all that shit. We just have cats running around. All right, all right. So we got vegetarian in the hospital. Yeah, right? Well, it kind of is. Uh, I mean, fur is kind of a period of Sorry, we're going to get serious now, and we're going to do something. Ready?
Okay, so now comes the part where we're going to talk about um, our creative process. Processes? Process. 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 I might come up with an answer. I'll pretend I have an answer. Here's what works. Yes. Oh. Questions, questions from the internet. Ooh, questions from the internet. Oh my goodness. Okay. You say the question, I'll repeat it. How about that? Sure. Um, so Grace wants to know how do you write when you're feeling uninspired. Grace wants to know how you write when you're feeling uninspired. Does Grace say where she's from? Yes. She's sure. from. She's Everywhere. Okay. She's from everywhere. Wow, Grace is everywhere. Cool. Um, how do we write when we feel inspired? Well, a lot of people say, and I think I believe this, writing is less about feeling inspired than it is just about working. You know, I think there's that myth, you know, for those of us who have read, you know, about the romantic poets or watch that movie. What was that movie? Dr. Zhivago, where the house is frozen and they go into the house. That's the only part of it I, I've ever looked at. You know, they go into the house and the house has been frozen because it's in a cold place. And they go into the house and the guy goes to the desk and he opens the desk and he opens and he dips his pen in the ink and he starts writing because he's so inspired. It doesn't even matter that the ink is probably frozen too, but we don't mind. Um, but he's so inspired, and that's what people think that writing is all about. But in my experience, writing is less about being inspired and more about wanting to work. So, I would just say, just write a little something. You know, and that's why we do this thing with these timers. I'm a big fan of timers, because a lot of times when I don't feel inspired, which is pretty much most of the time, I say, well, I'm just going to write for, you know, 20 minutes. You know, just going to like, blah, 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 blah. Or 10 minutes, blah, 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 blah. Or like five minutes, five minutes is great, blah, 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 blah. Oh, dear. And then I just go on to something else. So I would suggest just get a timer. Um, not necessarily this one. These are really good. Your phone, again, we, we said this so many times, your phone is cracked. If you don't know that, um, you know, it's beautiful, it's cute, and it's, you know, <laughs> trying to control you. So get one of these, because I don't think this really wants to control you. It's just a timer. It just counts minutes and seconds. And you turn it on for like five minutes, and you write. And, uh, yeah, uh, inspiration, in my experience, comes from working. It's like you have to meet the spirit, and they'll meet you halfway. But they're not going to come all the way down. You know, you have to, like, reach. So putting in five minutes, ten minutes is like going on. I'm here, I'm here. That's what works for me. And I get a lot of writing done. A lot of writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? Yes. Can you talk about your editing process? I'm What's your name? I'm Amara. Amara. Hi, Amara. Hello. Ending, did you say? Editing. Oh, editing. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you like, uh, do you enjoy, uh, Rewriting or uh, rewriting is that what you're talking yeah. about, Amara? Rewriting. Can we talk about the rewriting process? What's it? Well, what's it like for you? I mean, what's what? How, how's it been going? I get less sure of the story the more I rewrite. Oh, so that you're like sure. a huh. Yeah, you get less sure of it the more you rewrite. Yeah. Like, what do you what do you mean? What do you mean? Um. Well, I'm working on a play about a bad blowjob. Yeah. Like what it started. Oh then. wow. Okay. What, what, what kind of blowjobs are bad? I mean, was it bad for the giver or the receiver? The receiver. Did you ever watch the video of the woman teaching you how to grapefruit a man? Uh, I, I, I'm past the point where I need to watch instructional. Yeah. Oh, you know, the, like in the, in the, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I've seen the, the movie, yeah, the girls, girls trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. like two years ago, before I saw the girls trip. Yeah. About somebody who has an allergic reaction to the grapefruit. Oh. Yeah. 
But I was very sure that this is like a silly little play that I wrote. And then the more I write it, the more I go at it, I'm like, oh, this is the thing. But then I get less sure of the words when they come out. Right. Yeah. Right. And I can't imagine the characters anymore the way I did when I first wrote it. Right. Okay. Okay, so let's for a minute, although it's very tempting to like just talk about the subject. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you have to ask, are you allergic to grapes? I'm not. I'm allergic to nuts. Well, that, well, you're allergic to nuts. But I'm wrong. Yeah. Wow, that's... Yeah. Well, that's kind of the point. Yeah. 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 Ye
Another thing you can do is write a synopsis of your story just to keep you on track. See what I mean? So regardless of all the awesome input people are giving you, you're going to stay on track. This is what my story is about. This happens, this happens, this happens, and in the end this happens. Right? So if you feel like you're getting on track, you know? Okay? So those two things, just try those two things. Um, I would suggest not showing it to people until you feel pretty confident. Because what we do is we write something, you know what I mean? And that, to me, is a recipe for, meh. You know? Right? You want to feel good about this. Yeah, I like this. I'm, I'm in, e eager to hear your thoughts. You know? Sure, I, I've worked on it a lot. There's some more work to be done. Take a look, friend. You know? So we're not looking for someone to do the work that we need to do. First. Okay? So that's key. That's key. So that requires something called, you know, self-discipline. Like the more you work it, the more it grows. Right? Okay? And you can always come back here and we'll keep telling you probably the same thing. Because we love you. And we want you to succeed. <laughs> okay? So keep coming back. Okay, anybody else? I've got some questions from Twitter. From the Twitter people. Hello. <laughs> Um, it says, it's Melania from Miami. Melania from Miami, we love you! <laughs> um, hey, you're back! Happy New Year! <laughs> she says, I have several dramatic images in my mind, but when I try to organize them, my play gets stuck. I sit with my notebook and I begin to feel lost. I don't know what to do. Do you have any suggestions? She has several dramatic images in her mind, uh -huh. and she, when she, she puts them in her notebook. When she tries to organize them, the play gets stuck, she and she sits with her notebook. Them. The play gets stuck. Okay. Right. When she tries to organize it, the play gets stuck. And, and she starts, uh, basically she starts to feel lost and doesn't know what to do. Right. So the play gets stuck because, perhaps, does the play get stuck because you're asking yourself what the story is? You've got several dramatic images in your mind and you're wondering, perhaps, how do these fit together in some kind of cohesive story? Right? So what you can do, what I do, and it, it, it works a lot of times, what I do is I pretend like I'm telling the story to, I'm a seven-year-old, right? So, and you can make up a story, if you have a seven-year-old, you can make a story out of anything. So you have like a truck. Once upon a time there was a truck, that's image number one. Then there's, a, what's the second image, maybe a, a mermaid. The truck was driving down the road one day and it saw a mermaid in the middle of the highway. Actually, it was a merman, because that's the kind of story this is. You see what I mean? You can pretend that you can just drink. And why the most important thing about writing, I think, is it's okay to not have it be very good, especially when you're starting out in the first draft. So, it's okay if you're telling a story that sounds, and you're stringing your images together, and it sounds kind of dumb. It's fine. I think pretty much all of us have written first drafts that sound kind of meh, or dumb, or eh, or yep, or bleh, or bleh. You know? That's what happens when you write a first draft. So I would encourage you just to string the images together as if you were telling the story to a small child. And Maybe your story would get stuck. You notice how I keep saying story instead of play. Because a play, in my mind, usually starts out as a story. Some kind of story. And then you can, once you get your story organized, like you know, you've got your story synopsis, then you can sort of step out and create uh, more rounded characters. Is that helpful? I'm trying to give like fast answers on the yeah. But try and try that. Just well, like we say, we've said it here, and you've been tuned in a long time, a lot of you, lower the bar. Like, you've got your bar way up here, you're like, I'm going to string my, I want to put these images together, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, 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 but maybe not in the beginning, maybe you got to lower the bar all the way down. It's going to be all the way down. There. And the goal is just to write a sentence. 
and I've been there, so, you know, if you're there, you'll see me writing my next draft, just to write a sentence. Just set the timer for five minutes and work on it. Make sure, Melania, that you're putting the time in. A lot of times we say, I get stuck, I'm confused, I don't know what to do. And we're not putting the time in every day, at least 20 minutes or so. More time if you got it, you know? Why do you, nameless person, I love that you have, you, you have, you're not telling us your name. <laughs> why do you, and this is, no, this is, this is, so they're asking me why they choose to, sure, sure. it's a, actually, actually it's a great, I mean, why do, why, everybody, why do we choose distraction? Why do you choose, brother Pam, why do you choose distraction? Do you, oh, you don't, you're disciplined, you never, you're never distracted, why do you choose distractions, do you think? Um, usually, I'm at a point where, Usually I'm at a point where like I don't know what to write next, so instead of actually sitting down and doing the work, it's easy to just like, oh, what's on Instagram? Exactly. Exactly. So when it gets hard, when the going gets tough, the the writer gets distracted. I mean that's a rule, right? I mean what about you? You never get distracted, right? Oh, of course not. But if when the if when the stuff that right, what happens? Why? Why? I think for the same reason it's just easier to be distracted than it is to sit down. Exactly. It's actually, it's easier, and it, it, writing is like painful sometimes. I mean, not all the time. Sometimes it's like, oh, oh, it's like, you know, it's like the blowjob. I mean, not like that. A good one, right? Not the one we get in the Yeah, but, I mean, and, and if I've offended anybody, I will. <laughs> I'll apologize for some shit. Uh, anyway, but, um, but uh, I know, no, this, we're in a, a wonderful institution here, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But writing is really difficult. It, you can't just lie there and have someone, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? You actually have to, like, it's harder than that. You have to go to really hard places and it's painful. And wow, going on, well, going on Facebook is actually more painful after a while. Because then somebody posted, like Jacob will say, I just finished a new draft of my fabulous thing. And you're like, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> and so, right? And so, it's still, it's still Right? So, ultimately, doing your own writing is less painful than going on Instagram and reading about Jacob's latest accomplishment. You just don't want to do that. But, I've had, I have a, my husband is a nerd, and I have had him. He, he went on my computer at my uh, request and took off, I, I can't get on anything anymore, whatever you do. I don't know what he did, but I said, honey, make it, you know, make it so I can't, when I go, <laughs> like those rats wanting the nicotine, it, nothing comes out. It goes, you cannot access this site. So I had him do that to my whole computer. No, really. He didn't do it to my phone. So I, had to my phone. I had to go to the bathroom. But, um, <laughs> But yeah, so uh, yeah, that's why we do it because it's because writing's hard. It's really difficult. It's really, really, really difficult, and rewriting is difficult, and it's all very difficult. So, so welcome to the yeah. Welcome to the fun. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes I get distracted researching, so I'm reading about all of these things, and oh, look, there's another book, and I could read that, but it just clicked in my head that that's my way of being, okay. of distracting myself from actually getting to the, I, I, I tend to over. Yes, yes, over, over researching yeah. is also a, a, a distraction, I mean, you're distracting yourself, yeah, and you know, and how do you know when you're over researching? How do you know? I think something just like 
because there's something that clicks in my head that says, okay, this is getting really good, so shut up. Right. Something stop. clicks in your head yeah. that says, this is getting ridiculous, or you don't really need to read that next book, or yeah. get off of Amazon, or get off of the business, you don't need to buy the hand. Exactly. There's a voice in your head that says that, and you say, no, 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 I really mean it. Like that. And you know then that you're, yeah. 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 Exactly. Very good. That's exactly, exactly, exactly right. So, yeah. 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 Jacob? Speaking of average Jacob, yeah. Um, so, I feel like at some point in my life, I've gotten the advice to solve every problem. Mm -hmm. But often when I run into a problem, I go, I have no idea which advice to use, or, like, I, I forget immediately, right? right? So as soon, I know how to deal with, dis I, I've talked about distractions, but as soon as I'm distracted, I go, well, I'll deal with that part later. Right. Right, or writer's block, or, um, right. or editing, or whatever. Like, how do you take stock of, like, okay, I have this problem, and how do I figure out, how do I match the information I have with the problem I have? Right. In any given situation. In any given situation. <laughs> I know. It's a really it's, abstract question. No, no, no. So, so Jacob says he's probably received, I'm just going to, he's probably received answers and solutions to every possible problem he could possibly have as a creative person. At some point. At some point in his in writing career, except for the answer that tells him which to use when, which solution to use at what time, which is the key to all of the answers. <laughs> and we're going to give it to you right now. I think I'm going to give it to you before, but we're going to give it to you right now. Because, so imagine if you were like a warrior and you had a quiver of arrows and, 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 and there was the, the dragon or whatever, I don't know what. And you know, you'd be like, which arrow do I use? Right? And the, and the dragon is a dancing. <laughs> you know what? Any fucking arrow will do. Just grab a fucking arrow, use your skill, and boom! And if that one doesn't work, guess what? Oh, you've got another arrow. You know what I mean? So, oh, use the timer. That doesn't work. You know what? Go for a walk. Huh, that doesn't work. You know what? Call a friend. You know what? Write anything. You know what? Hop around on one foot. Put on some music. Dance. Take a bath. Just <coughs> try everything. Because the your mind, your mind, our mind, the mind is very tricky. Right? And all, it's almost like one of those video games or one of those mythical monsters that whenever you find a solution, it's going to morph into something else and be impenetrable to that solution, right? So you're just going to have to just, and you're, because the, the, the ultimate solution, answer, is I will not be moved. I will keep on keeping on. Ain't nobody going to turn me around. That's what you say to this thing. Ha ha, you will never write. Ha ha. No, I actually will. I will. I'm here like Buddha said under the Bodhi tree, you know, touching the ground. I have a right to be here. That's your solution. And no particular trick is going, no particular arrow is going to solve all the problems. It is your willingness to keep on doing the activity. That's me shooting an arrow at a mythical monster. You know what I'm saying? You know? And that's, I think that's what it is. It's your determination. It's your, your the, the, the love of your community. You know, and that's what we're, we use to just, and all you gotta do is like get through another day. That's all you gotta do. Just, just do that. And then we string them together and you call that, you know, your life. And it's so good to see you because I haven't seen you in ages. But does that make sense? Does that make sense? You know? Anything will work. It all works. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name, by the way? Graham. Graham? Hey, Graham. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you have any advice on how to avoid preaching or lecturing to 
Uh, what, like me, like now? Oh, geez. Uh, yeah. I just, I find invariably, like, my own opinions and biases will slip into play, but I'll often kind of just reread what I've read and, like, cringe a little bit because it's, it's what I think. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. How to avoid, yeah, making your plays like, you know, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I feel like, and this is, you know, especially these days when we have a lot to say and we have a lot that needs to be said, okay? So we live in a slightly different time than we did, say, you know, 10 years ago. Or maybe not. I, actually not, but whatever. Um, I feel like as long as what you have to say, do we hear what you guys are saying? How to avoid like having the characters just feed away. As long as it's firmly grounded in the character, sometimes you know your characters might go off and just talk a lot. And as long as it's grounded in what the character wants, right? And not so much about what the playwright wants. The playwright might say, I want a big speech right here about, you know. Your nut allergy, you know what I mean? It's like, ah, uh, maybe not, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but if the character has a desire to talk about her nut allergy, then I think it's, it's okay to put it in your head. Yeah. Because you've got to earn it, you know? It's just like everything in your play. You're going to have to earn that speech. You're going to have to earn that moment, that ending, that beginning. Yes, right. Uh, most of my writing has been for solo performance pieces, and I remember having the like aha moment of writing, like, oh, this is my voice, and this is how I do my uh, But what if I like, keep writing? I feel like I'm only thinking that as uh, like a <coughs> I just call it like a shtick. Well, not like a shtick, but it's like I uh, I feel like I'm not challenging myself to step outside of it. Like I don't know if I'm if I should go forward with the way I'm using language, or if I should challenge myself to like to to switch it up. I adore Ryan because Ryan's like a really hardworking writer who will like do anything to like you 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 found your voice. Oh, I think I better do something else. It's your voice. Use it. It's yours. You know what I mean? Yay. Yay. You know what I mean? You've got piece you were working on last year, and the year before that, 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 and the year before that. You finished. You know what I mean? And now you're writing, you're still writing, and you're finding things out, and, you know, we all have our things, you know? And sometimes we, we stay with them for a long, some writers write the same way they did in 1910 or whatever, you know, they write the same way all the way through their careers. Some writers change up every single, I, I'm a change, I'm a change up writer. I can't, I don't know what, uh, I have no idea what the next is going to look like, no clue. I can't seem to repeat myself. Okay, but that's me. But I don't encourage other people to try that. It's, it's if you find a groove and you like it, and it feels good, work it. At least get to the end of your next couple of pieces. And then you can say, ah. you know, I mean, you're, it's like you're, uh, I love snakes, so I'm going to call, you're like a snake, right? The snake is like, oh, when am I going to grow out of the skin, man? <laughs> when am I going to grow out of the skin? It just happens, and suddenly they're out, they're thrown out of their skin and they're in a new skin, if that's appropriate for them. You know what I mean? Not to worry. It'll not just keep writing. But it's a good question. Because you don't want to just like, you know, but you don't. Believe me, you don't. You're not doing that. Hey man, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, um, how do you know, this is another incredibly vague question, uh, in terms of sort of how you know you're done, because I feel like I can 
go and rewrite the dialogue for the 74th time, but at some point it starts to feel like research, right? It starts to feel like a thing that was valuable at one point and now I'm just doing it because I don't want to actually have to send it to my rep to right. go out to the world. Cause I, like, like, how, like, at what point does it, be, at what point does it become self-protection and therefore not actually helpful to just keep going over something and going over something? And how do you know, sort of, okay, this is, I can stand behind this, even though you know that next time you read it, you probably tweak a little something here. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So, right, so I talked to the story about Brick, you know, in Cat on a Hot Tin Rope, you know, I drink until I hear the click. I probably should, because that's, no, there's a click, you know, you write, I write till I hear the click, it goes, okay. And because I know you a little bit, I'll just use this analogy. So what we're trying to do as writers, and this is maybe also for choreographers and everybody else in the universe or on the planet, we're, what we're doing as creative artists is we're aligning, uh, we're creating patterns. Right? We're creating patterns. I mean, just think of your work as creating patterns. So what you're doing is you're taking a character and a given set of circumstances, and then there's dialogue that happens, and you're trying to align a certain set of patterns, right? And you'll get to a certain point, listen for it, to click into itself. And when it's clicked in, it's good enough. There's something that we can toss out the window and that's perfection. It might exist, but if it does, I don't think it's very interesting, you know? <coughs> but really, really good, right? Really, really good is interesting. And that's, what we want to go for, right? We want to write really good. We want to be fearless about editing. Um, I would say if you have the tendency to write, and rewrite, and rewrite, and rewrite, and you're not sending stuff in, when it gets to the point where you haven't sent anything in, and again, that small voice within, that one that tells you that you're rewriting too much, is saying, send it in already. It's time to send it in already. Because you know you'll be able to fix it, right? Okay, and if people judge you because like three words in the third act on page 179 aren't perfect, fuck them. That's what I said. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to be, you don't want to work with them anyway. I mean, who, who are, and who the fuck are they to judge you like that? Hello. They've probably never written anything, and they're probably just haters. So you don't want to be around them. Really, everybody who's really in the creative field, really in it, knows how hard it is to make anything. And when they're, you're sending them your play or whatever, they should approach it with generosity and gratitude that you put the effort into it. And also, they know how hard you work. They're your, they're your reps. They know how hard you're working. You see what I'm saying? So, good canoe, as they say in Germany, good enough. Hand it in. If it's, you know, it's a, I know you're out in the real world now. You graduated. You're out there. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, but just we'll talk about more about patterns because I, I the more I think about it, it's just like a lot of patterns. It's really that impersonal. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Two minutes. Anybody have a burning question? A stunning realization. Typewriter that's broken. Somebody was playing with this up in my office. I'm <laughs> owed something, so I can't. It's okay. Whatever. Somebody's like, what are they doing? Or some of the ghosts uh, of the public. Anyway. Back in the law, you have here. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. So good. So I, I often, like, this has happened a couple of times where I've reached the end of a first draft and I put it in a drawer for a couple of weeks and I bring it out and it's right. just, it's just garbage. Right, like, yeah. It's garbage. What, what do you, what do you uh, do? What do you do? Yeah. I know, I know, right, I know. So I know, so did I lie to you? Yeah, you write it, you put it in a drawer and then you read it and it looks like, it's like shit, what do I do? 
defecated the drawers. Horrible. Oh my God. Welcome to the club, brother. It has happened to me many times. You write that draft and then you think, I'll put it away and I'll love it more. And you pull it out and it's like horrific. Right. Right. Well, I remember Rich. So what do you do? Find one thing. Can you find one thing in your draft? Sometimes for me, it's, it's only been the title of the play. That's it. That's all I can hold on to. But that I love more than I hate the poopy draft that I just wrote. And if that one, if you can find one thing, then you can go back and say, okay, let me find one more thing. I like that character's name. Okay, that's two things. And you start to piece together, and then maybe you have a synopsis of what the play is about, and you look at that again and you go, okay, how can I make, I like that scene, kind of, work on that scene. Does that be in order? Work on that scene, or that one, or that one, or that one, or that character. Maybe I can find out more about that character. You know what I mean? Find, just start with one thing. Right? That's what I do. Are we ready? Are we it's 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. Thank you all so much. So when are we coming back? When are we going to go? Oh my gosh. I don't remember. I'll come back. I don't remember. I think it's really soon. It's really soon, but not on, not on, not on my Christmas day. No, it's Thursday. Is it Monday? It's the first Monday in March. Ah, in the sense, the first, we will be back on the first. March 4th. Oh. March 4th. March 4th. Okay, thank you. The 4th of March. We'll be back on the 4th of March. All right. Thanks, people. Thanks for coming.